Pre-draft process, I mean, it's 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 pretty different. It's pretty different. You gotta take it, you gotta approach it as a job. It's not it's not like a privilege like college is. You gotta carry yourself professional and things like that. So I think I do a pretty good job with that, but at the same time you have to do bring that same professionalism everywhere you go. Everyone's watching and things like that. And I got a good circle around me as far as my, my friends, my agency and things like that. So I think I'm in good hands, but it's still it's still really new to me because I had nobody go before me and tell me the ropes and I never really had nobody to tell me exactly what to expect so this 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 I'm learning I'm learning every day and also enjoying the experience today was my first workout uh, with the Los Angeles Lakers and that was big I mean to put their uniform on and to go in the huddle and say one two three Lakers that's 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 different I mean I'm so used to saying one two three Spartans to, to work towards that and actually say one two three Lakers put on a put on a Laker uniform and be in their facilities and things like that it makes you want it more it makes you want it every day so I think that's my motive in going to these workouts and things like that I want to be a part of an organization next season so you know it was like it was like we was the same I felt like we was the same and um, we didn't get really tight until you know mid season when we started taking road trips we sat sat next to each other on the bus and and I realized I said man this is this is one guy who plays around and can be serious but plays around as much as me and has fun like me. So, you know, from there we just bonded and, and, and four, four or five years later, we are, we're here today, you know, on this incredible journey of him. You know, he's out in Vegas doing pre-draft. You know, he's out in, in, in Los Angeles doing pre-draft. He's, you know, he's, he, he's, he's, he's far in his career. He's gotten a lot of things accomplished. He's got a lot of awards. You got the Lou Henson Award, you got the MIAC Player of the Year, Defensive Player of the Year, and I'm just proud as a friend, you know, and, and I look at him like a brother, so, you know, he's like family, so. I think the thing that people like about Kyle is that he's a people's person. When things get too uptight, man, he's always gonna be there to, to make you laugh, you know, whatever, he's always there, he's dependable, he's reliable, he's just a good friend, and uh, kids love him. He likes to have fun, and you know, not, bad fun of course but he just like to you know have fun and you know be around and hang and, and he like to make people feel good and that's a, that's, a, that's a cool thing about him because not a lot of people have that with him this summer we and him are actually throwing a camp together I mean it's something small right now I mean I could give back to the community to the kids I mean the kids are always at the games and see him in the mall they always want to talk to you and things like that and I, I love the kids I'm a big kid I mean I'm 22 years old right now, but I have the heart of a 10-year-old. I mean, I love the kids. I mean, I always play around with them and things like that. I mean, this stuff is just, well, I look at it as a, more of a role model. I mean, kids want to walk in these footsteps, so why not enjoy it? And why not give them the information in the best way? I mean, every time you see them, give them something or something like that. I mean, I really like the position I'm in, and I think I handle it well when it comes to the kids. But as far as the camp that me and Antoine are trying to, trying to um, put together and get rolling in the city of Norfolk. I mean, it's called Smart Skills Academy. SMART being an acronym for Strengthening Minds and Redefining Talent. And myself, Kyle, and Kenny sat down and came up with that and we thought it would be cool because at the end of the day, academics is first. And you know, a lot of people don't stress being a student athlete anymore. It's all about what you can do for their program, what you can do for their program athletically, not academically. And they kind of, you know, they, they go hand in hand and academics being more important because without academics, you can't go anywhere. You know, the camp is gonna be on June 18th at Lake Taylor High School. It's June 18th through the 22nd at Lake Taylor High School. And, um, you know, we're looking for a good turnout. Kids to come out and have fun, bring a friend. Be competitive I and mean, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a great showing and we plan on getting some good work in and giving back to the community.